Our sages tell us we should all challenge ourselves and ask ourselves, when will my actions emulate that of my forefathers? When can I be something like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? You have to wonder, you have to ask yourself, how is that even possible? What kind of aspiration is that? Are they setting the bar so ridiculously high beyond my reach? How can I be expected to be anything like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? One of my favorite all-time stories is that of Rab Zusha of Anapol, who famously said, when his time comes and he comes before the heavenly tribunal at the age of 120 and they'll ask him, Zusha, why were you not like Abraham? He says, I'll have a ready response. Dear God, you appear to Abraham, you never appear to me. Zusha, why were you not like Isaac? Dear God, you gave Isaac an opportunity to place himself on the altar before you. You never gave me that opportunity. Zusha, why were you not like Jacob? Jacob, he was the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. I only had a couple of kids. He says, whomever they ask me, no matter what, I'll have a ready response for Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, Aaron, etc. There's only one question which if they ask me, I won't have an answer for. And that is if they ask me, Zusha, why were you not like Zusha? By definition, we're all intended to aspire to be everything that we ourselves can be, whatever was predetermined for us to ultimately become. I'm not expected to be like Abraham. I am expected to be able, like Abraham, to strive to be everything that I can possibly be. Sure, there are things that I cannot do, but then there are so many other things that I can do. You know, Beethoven started to go deaf at the age of 20, but he still went on to compose masterpieces. Mozart was already composing at five. Can I be as great as them? I don't know, not at least until I try. But one thing is for certain, as far as God is concerned, I can be amazing in a million other ways. What I'm ultimately intended to become, that's preordained from above. Whether I become it, that's already up to me. So when our rabbis challenge us to ask ourselves, when can I emulate the actions of Abraham or Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, what they're really saying is, in life, don't let the things that you can't do get in the way of the things that you can. Shabbat Shalom.